Okay, we're in the bus. I need to get some air movement, some ventilation in here. If I don't keep the door cracked and it rains, uh, I get a lot of condensation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this rear panel out and use this panel to mount some four inch computer fans, run the cables out and put a small solar system in here. It's nice to see I have some insulation in here. Here's the two fans that I have. They're about a quarter of an amp. Actually, that's less than a quarter of an amp. I think this one's a little more than a quarter of an amp. I can't find my hole saws, so I'm just going to cut it out with an angle grinder. I traced the patterns on here. And then, I'm going to use an angle grinder to cut out those two sections. Instead of drilling holes, I'm just going to use some self-tapping screws. I got the fans mounted and then wired up. I soldered the joints and then just used crimps. I was gonna use heat shrink, but I couldn't find heat shrink that small. The wires coming off here are super tiny. I found this low voltage wire that's made for outside decorative li lights. I'm gonna use it. It's a lot thicker than this small wire, so it'll be fine with the gauge of that. So now it's just installing this, wiring everything up, and hooking the solar panel up. Okay, so I was originally going to put a 100 watt panel up and then just get a cheap charge controller i had this one and then i had a couple more that came with those 100 watt kits but i was digging around and found that panel i think that's a 5 or 10 watt panel and it had come with this uh right here and that's a 7 amp hour battery that is dead i have a 18 amp hour battery and so what i'm going to do now is I'm gonna pull this off and call my buddy Bobby at Bobby Solar Homestead and ask him if I could just wire that battery into it. And if he says, yeah, you can do that, and that five watt panel will be enough, that's what we'll do. First thing I need to do is get probably one or two holes drilled in there. So I got a hole saw. Add a hole saw. Okay, the uh, drilling the holes failed. This is double walled on the outside. So what I'm gonna do is uh, just use an angle grinder. Okay, I was mistaken. This is single wall. What I was seeing when I drilled the hole was the flap 
of the pellet. On the outside, I'm just gonna get a mesh vent cover. Okay, we're at the front of the bus. Right here's where the doghouse used to be. So what I'm gonna try to do is I got metal under this and I broke off a bit on this, but where it's wood, I may be able to cut two holes out right here. We're gonna try it. It's really hard to cut these without a pilot. My drill, I think it's on its last leg. So I'm gonna stick you up under the bus and hopefully we can get a shot. It'll be upside down, so. Seems to be pretty dry. I know there's water right there, but that's probably been there for a while. Also, what I'm going to do is there will be a carbon filter system that I'm putting in right here to filter the air coming up. I just have the panel sitting out here. And what I'm going to do is just run the wire through that hole right there around where the tail light used to be. Now I'm going to install the fan. Now I'm going to install the battery and all the wiring connections. What I'm going to do temporarily is just add this to a cigarette lighter plug-in just so we know that it's going to work. If you can hear the fans turned on. And that's the fans running. What I'm going to do now is shut the door and see if we're pulling in any air from the holes that I just cut. Alright, going dark. There's a couple ways you can do this. Uh, the preferred method is with a smoke tube. I don't have any smoke tubes with me. So what I did is I just took a piece of paper and you roll it up super tight. Then you light it. And you get it burning. Works better with paper towels. And then you get it smoking good. And I don't know if you can tell, but if you put the smoke right there, it just kind of lays low and you put it right there and you can see it's pulling a lot of air up in there. Come to this side, see how it just barely comes up. And there's a lot of air being pulled up in there. So hopefully this will help with the condensation. Right now it's nice and sunny. And also we have the, I've had the door open for the past couple of days to kind of dry this out. So we're supposed to get rain coming up in the next couple of days. So we'll see if this helps any and we'll see how this works with the battery as well. This is about an 18 amp hour battery. So when me and Bobby was figuring it out, you do half of that, which is nine amp hours. Those fans pull about a half an amp. So, you know, you're looking at probably 
nine hours of runtime without sun. Now, that's not enough capacity from my calculations to run all night. So, what I'll do is I'll come back tomorrow and see how things are going. But that'll do it for this video. As always, thanks for watching.